Welcome back everybody, how you doing tonight? So uh, I'm gonna open another one of the Commander decks from Ikoria Commander 2020 here. Um, if you watch my other Commander deck opening, uh, I didn't get all five of them yet. I will open the rest when I do get the others. Uh, the, the store I had pre-ordered the set from back in March, who's had my money for two months, decided they wanted to, because the price increased, not actually send out the commander sets to us uh, and hose us all and didn't even refund me. So I'm having a fight with PayPal uh, to try and get my money back, which will probably take two more months. So that's four months of my money being gone, tied up, because this guy is a shady snake. Uh, it was uh, Cars and Toys was the seller. The payment went to Don's Dugout. Um, and apparently, I think he's got a few different uh seller ids on ebay but they all go to the same same don's dugout there uh big uh baseball card store that's been around for a long time but apparently they operate very shady these days and take people's money and don't even give it back uh when they decide not to send them the stuff that they pre-ordered months and months ago so enough about that moving on um this is uh the ruthless regiment commander 2020 deck that came out with the icoria set and without further ado, let's kind of break in here and see what we get. Um, so Ruthless Regiment as a captain of her sanctuary's military, Jirana, or Jirina, Jirina, dedicates her life to defending the civilians in her care at all costs. Amid constant monster attacks, she and her troops rely on discipline and precise tactics to keep the danger at bay. Oh, how sweet. All right, so we got a deck box. We got a 100-card deck with 17 new cards, 10 double-sided tokens, a uh, foil oversized commander card, a life wheel, strategy insert, and reference card. So let's break in here. Take a look at all the shiny stuff. These decks do have a lot of like mythics in them. Um, so there is a, there's some good value in these currently. Of course, that value may drop quite drastically over the coming... Oh, come on. Come out of there without damaging. Right, over the coming months here, because you know how new sets are. They're all overhyped and over expensive at the beginning and then <laughs> all right so here is our jahira or jarina jarina did was i pronouncing that wrong okay probably was did they put it on the back of the box wrong nope jarina okay i guess i just um just seeing things okay so anyway here's your commander card the oversized foily type uh so when she enters the battlefield create a one one white human soldier creature token and for each time you've cast a commander from the command zone this game, other humans get plus two plus O. Oh. So, not bad for a four drop, three, three, commander. All right, now let's break in here. Here's your little uh, kind of rules and play sheet type deal that comes along with it, of course, with advertisements, because, you know, keep selling us more stuff. You know, we're, you're not coming out with enough product. We need to buy more. So, <laughs> oh my God, it never stops this year. There's going to be like 6,000 products before the end of the year. All right, so there's that little gooby thing that nobody really cares about. But, yeah, I'm trying to be a completionist here and do everything. So here's your little life wheel spinner thing. Uh, pretty cool. And the last one, I was like, what is this? It doesn't have the stolen tire or anything. I finally realized it's just uh, this little kind of wheel thing doesn't damage the cars which is actually pretty brilliant. If only they could put this much thought into the box toppers in the Ikoria boxes so we weren't getting bent and damaged and bowed box toppers, that would have been awesome, you know? If they'd have maybe put a couple piece of cardboard in there or just a little ticky tack on the top of the box so it wasn't falling down in between the packs and go like that. There, I've been in my life kind of, here we go. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that rant. Let's see what's in the deck here. So yeah, I bought these at uh, Walmart for retail, and the retail price is still less than people are asking on eBay and TCG Player. Uh, the average is like two thirty to two fifty for the set of five decks on the low end, and you know up to three hundred on the high end or more. Um, uh, Walmart or Target or anywhere that sells these retail, which I found these in stock, uh, not all of them, but I found a couple of them in stock. Um, they're only forty two dollars retail. So that times five, $42 times five, everybody, it is $210. So 
that's still way less than people are trying to gouge you for for these commander sets online. So just go buy them retail if you can't find people sell them at a reasonable price. Or your LGS. Uh, try your LGS. Um, I mean, if they're like 10 bucks more or something, still, it's worth it to support your LGS. Pay a little bit more than, than the stores. But, you know, if they're trying to gouge you for 250 on them, probably still go buy them at Target. <laughs> All right, so here's our, here's our Jorina. Not Jahora. I don't know why I call her Jahora. Jorina. Um... Jahor is the other one. That's, uh, wasn't that Urza's disciple? Anyway. So, uh, Kudro. Oh, this is, uh, General Kudro's daughter, I guess. The one that, uh, the cat saved and then he killed the cat. Yeah. Nice. Nice guy. Um, <laughs> so this is your commander, the normal size one, all foily like. And then your next commander is Kelsey and the Plague. Uh, and then next is Trin, Champion of Freedom. And then Silvar, Devourer of the Free. So there's your four mythic foils that you get in the deck. And then we got our tokens. Oh, these are actually different. The other deck was all the same tokens. So, oh, it looks like there are treasures and zombies on the back. And on the front, we've got soldiers with different artwork and then just regular humans. So there's actually four different tokens in this deck. The other deck only had two different tokens. All right, so we got a, a Bajooka Bog. Bajooka Bog, uh, Boros Garrison, Command Tower, Good Land, uh, Myriad Landscape, a Nomad Outpost. Uh, there's a, oh, look at that. It's a triple color land that comes into play tapped that's worthless. It's not worth anything. Hmm. Wow, that three cycling really pumps up the value on those triumphs. <laughs> Orzov Basilica. Hey, I said it right that time. First time ever. I always call it the Ballistica. Um, Path of Ancestry, Rakdos Carnarium, Temple of the False God, Unclaimed Territory, Bloodfell Caves, Evolving Wilds, you know, because you know, we don't want to print fetch lands again in standard size because it slows down the game. Okay, I'm done. Scoured Barrens, Windscarred Crag, and then one, two, three, four mountains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plains. Uh, apparently no swamps. Hmm, okay. Call the Copper Coats. Flawless Maneuver. This is, uh, this is a pretty pricey card so far, because this is one of those free cards. If you control a commander, you may cast this spell without paying its mana cost. Creatures you control gain indestructible till end of turn. Yeah, opponent's all like, oh, he's all tapped out. I can swing over, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oops. Oops, I don't need mana. Um, Verge Rangers. Another, good, uh, another really good value card in here. Uh, there are three drop, three, three with first strike. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. As long as an opponent controls more lands than you, you may play lands from the top of your library. That's pretty awesome. The fact that you can, if you, got, if you top deck a land, you can just throw it into play if the opponent's got more lands than you. Nice. Uh, species Specialist. Titan Hunter. That's a, that's a big old saw blade sword dude or chick. I think that's chick has got there. Uh, Fireflex Squad. Frontier Warmonger. Molten Echoes. Sanctuary Blade, Bounty Agent, Citywide Bust, Cleansing Nova, Dearly Departed, still all rares, Frontline Medic, Increasing Devotion, Knight of the White Orchid, that's another one that's worth a few bucks, uh, Magus of the Disc, <laughs> good old Nevin Rawls disc on feet, um, Audric the Master Tactician, Riders of Gavany, Thalia's Lieutenant, still all rares, don't, don't forget. Thraben Doomsayer, unexpectedly absent. That was me during uh, most of my junior high days. <laughs> Disciple of Bolas, Painful Truths, uh, Zathrid Necromancer. Pretty cool artwork on that card. Uh, what's he do? Three drop, two, two. Whenever Zath Zathrid Necromancer or another human creature you control dies, create a tap, two, two black zombie creature token. Huh, pretty neat. Uh, Alicia who smiles at death. I laugh at you, death. Ha ha. So, still all rares. Captivating crew. Fumika, the low blood. What set was she from originally? Was that originally a, a Kamigawa block? I think it might have been. Um, Magus of the Wheel. There we go. Good old uh, Wheel of Fortune on feet. Outpost Siege. Still rares. Shared Animosity. Titan of Eternal Fire. Adriana, the Captain of the Guard. Crackling Doom, Nahiri, the Harbinger, 
Uh, Mythic. That's a nice one. I do like Nahiri. Uh, Battlefield Forge. Exotic Orchard. Shadow Blood Ridge. Smoldering Marsh. Spine Rock Knoll. Windbrisk Heights. Oh, there's our swamps. One, two, three, four swamps. Bonders Ornament. Arcane Signet. Great common card there. Uh, Boros Signet. Commander's Spear. Her Heirloom Blade. Heirloom Blade. Orzhov Signet. Rakdos Signet. Skull Clamp. I, get, I love the old Skull Clamp. Uh, we used to abuse this card when it came out. <laughs> we were doing some broken stuff with this card when it came out. We got it. I think it was restricted for a while because we were doing so much broken stuff with that card. Uh, Soul Ring. Good old Soul Ring. Love the Soul Ring. Sanctuary Lockdown. Bastion of Remembrance. That was in my uh, top 15 favorite Ikoria Uncommons, as well as this one, Dire Tactics. Uh, General's Enforcer. Martial Impetus. Parasitic Impetus. Shiny Impetus. So the other Commander deck had three Impetus cards, but uh, the one was uh, not red. It was, it was, I think it was these two and then uh, the green one. Uh, Banisher Priest, Calvary Pegasus, Devout Chaplain, um, Ambitions Cost, uh, usually time, usually lots and lots of time and energy and stress. Zillaport Cutthroat, <laughs> Humble Defector, or Defector, uh, Humble Defector, sorry. Vigilante Justice, the best kind of justice. Garner of the Blood Flame, just kidding. Terminate, or not, and an advertisement. So, there you have it. That's everything that's in there. Let me just uh, let me just go back through the rares here a little bit. Okay, is that all the rares? Okay. So this is how many rares you get in the deck. <laughs> so like literally half the deck is rares, I think. Let me see. So here's here's all the non rares, and here's all the rares. Okay, so not quite half, but. Yeah, definitely more than a third. <laughs> what are we going with? Three-eighths there? <laughs> so, there's a lot of rares in these commander decks. This is all rares. I mean, ton of rares. And the funny thing is, this particular deck, some of the most valuable cards are in the common and uncommon slot. <laughs> and then you got the five mythics as well. So, definitely some value in these decks. Um, I'm not sure if that value will hold up over time, but we'll see. You know, I mean... Uh, I mean, they look like they're built really well. The Arcane Signet, uh, the Command Tower, which I already passed by, and I'm not going to go look for it, the Skull Clamp, and the Soul Ring, those are some of the most valuable cards in here, and they're not even in that giant chunk of rares. So, there you go. There's some, uh, there's some really good cards in these new Commander decks. I don't know. I'm not sure yet if I think they're better than the, uh, the 2019s. I'd, I'd have to actually play with them a little bit and find out. Uh, but... I mean, they definitely look, look like they're built well. Not sure if they're 2019 good yet. We'll have to see as time goes. But there's definitely some really good cards in these. Uh, I like them. Uh, do I think that they're they're worth $250 for a set of five decks? Absolutely not. Um, especially not because we absolutely know for a fact that Wizards is doing a second print run of these. So they are currently printing a lot more. So we'll see what happens with the overall numbers after it's all done and said, but uh, or said and done, but yeah, don't don't pay over two ten for a kit of five unless it's your LGS, and then just tr go a little bit over that just to support them. But uh, but yeah, you can get these at Target. You can you can order them online and get them sent to your house. All five of them. You just got to order them individually. You can't order them as a set, but you can order each one of the five and get them sent to your house for you know free shipping for two hundred ten dollars. So, yeah, don't uh, don't overpay for these. Uh, don't don't fall into the FOMO and gotta get it now. You can get it now. You can get it in a couple days, shipped to you from Walmart or Target, either one of them. Um, so, hopefully this helps you guys out, and hopefully you like the deck opening. Uh, let me know what you think of this deck. Would you actually run this as a commander deck? What kind of tweaks would you do if you were gonna run it as a commander deck? Um, you know, uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's start some conversations down there. There's probably some other videos for you guys to check out in the corner there. I really appreciate your time. Every like, subscription, and, and share means the world to me. I love talking with you guys in the comments. So, uh, so keep it coming. Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye.